so this video begins my long journey back to Los Angeles. I'm in Durban, South Africa right now, and I'm on my way to Los Angeles. It's gonna take me two days, so I don't know how I'm gonna break it up by day, because the vlog is supposed to be each day, but we'll start it off right now. Durban, on my way to Johannesburg. take some time because I gotta go there's two separate reservations so I have to go to baggage claim get my bag go check in again go through customs and then make the flight adventures with Jesus so I just found out I was in the wrong terminal I tell you man these airports they make it so confusing for you so I gotta get there before the flight closes. I feel like when you're in the airport, it's only two speeds. Either you're in a super rush, or you have hours to spend, hours to spend. So right now I'm in a super rush. Then I get to London, I got a couple hours to spend, so. All right. showered and changed and fresh ready for the next leg of the journey the next leg of the journey is finally going to Los Angeles I've been in London for a couple hours now I was able to edit the video it's it's amazing how precious a Wi-Fi connection is okay let me share this story with you when I was on the plane on my last flight I was playing Pac-Man you know the old arcade game Pac-Man and I got a revelation while I was playing the game so when you're playing Pac-Man you're running around scared, avoiding the ghosts. If the ghosts get you, you die. But yet, in the four corners of the maze, there's an item that if you eat it, you become so powerful, the, the ghosts will run away from you. <laughs> Some of you already know where I'm going with this. I could preach on this. As the alarm goes off, while well, I'm trying to speak. Okay, stop. Okay, so once you eat this particular item, the music changes, you see the ghosts as they really are and they're afraid of you and they run away from you. That's the word of God. The word of God, you eat the word of God, you see the ghosts as they really are and they're afraid of you, they turn around and you chase them. You create terror against them. That's who you are today. You are Pac-Man after he's after he's eaten the pellets or whatever they're called. Do not any longer be afraid of the ghost of little D. For if you realize who you are, they will be terrified of you and run away from you and you will eat them. <laughs>
so I made it to my seat. So I will see you in about 12 hours. Keep the fire burning. Okay, so I'm back in LA. That was a long flight, but it was a good flight. It was a good flight. So I'm back home now and I'm excited. I'm not sleepy. It's like, it's like, it's like today, Thursday the 20th was like two days. It was like, cause you go back in time, like, I don't know, nine hours. Then it was a nine hour, what, 10, 11, 12 hour flight. So it was like time stands still. So I'm on adrenaline, I'm full of energy right now. Um, but this is what I got when I was coming back here. I heard the Holy Spirit say to me, talk more about that revelation on Pac-Man because I don't think they got it. So let me just go deeper on that revelation. Pac-Man, there's two different types of Christians. There are those Pac-Man before he eats the thing and those after he eats the thing. Those who are before are running from the ghost. Now the ghost in and of itself is a revelation. In the game of Pac-Man, there's four different ghosts. Four different ghosts, and those four ghosts represent the four enemies, the demonic powers that he has stronghold over many Christians. The first ghost is money, is debt, is that financial stronghold. The second ghost is sickness and disease. The third ghost is your family, interpersonal relationships. And the fourth ghost, which is the last enemy to be defeated, is death. Most of the world is afraid of dying and Jesus, glory to God, has conquered death. And so that red ghost, the one that's the most powerful, the one that is the fastest, is nothing. Because when you eat that power pellet thing, he too turns blue and white like all the rest of them. You have power over the enemy, over all forces of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Glory to God. Can you tell I'm fired up, ready to be back? I'm back home. I'm ready to, I'm ready to go at it. I'm ready to go at it. Man, we had such a glorious time out in South Africa. And I'm ready to do it even more here. This is a question that, that I've been getting a lot. A lot of you have been watching the various sermons. We just put sermon clips in the video because the, the, the Adventure of the Jesus is more of a behind the scenes take on everything. But many of you want to hear the full, full length sermons. Go to my website, TroyAnthonySmith.com and sign up as a partner. When you're a partner, you get all of the messages. I don't care whether I'm in India, Africa, Los Angeles, or Miami. You get the full length. You get this every week. So no matter, no matter where I am in the world, you get this impartation. You get to follow me and get these messages. So sign up as a partner down below. You will be blessed. If you don't want to sign up, don't sign up. If you do, if, if the behind the scenes is not enough for you, you want the, you want the word as it's preached in, in Los Angeles and the South African meetings, sign up as a partner today. And if you're a partner, but you're not getting the sermons, shoot me an email because we probably don't have an up-to-date email address for you. So shoot me an email and we'll get those out to you. I love you so much. Here it is. I got my, my, my crown. I'm about to put this back in my case where I have all my, all my different uh, travels from around the world. You know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to shoot a video explain, because I always try to uh, bring back one thing that's like, that reminds me of the trip that I went on. And so I got a bookcase that has all the all the different items I got from around the world. One of these days I'm just going to do an episode and just explain each of the items so you can so you can see and get a, and get a get a get a taste of what it's like traveling the world for Jesus. Adventures with Jesus. I wouldn't have it any other way. Whew. So that signs off on this trip. Phenomenal trip. It, it's funny in South Africa it seems like every year I go it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Hopefully next year the um the apostle in Lozo, he was saying around Passover time, he has this huge event, all 37 of his churches, they get together in a stadium. He wanted me to come out to it. So that's next year. Hopefully I'll be able to come and minister in the stadium. Glory to God. If you missed, if you're in South Africa watching this and you missed my meeting, don't miss the next one. This is Troy Anthony Smith signing off for South Africa. Join me for my next adventure. I love you so much. Keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning. <laughs> Fire! <laughs>